What's good, YouTube? This is Shannon Craft back with another barber tutorial, and today we're going to be doing a mid bald fade with a hard part comb over. But the reason I'm doing this video is because I wanted you guys to see these JRLs in action. For all those that have been asking, they are right now my favorite clipper. They just and they mow through hair as you can see so we're just gonna bald everything out with this JRL fade blade and yes it is zero gapped and uh, and this guy has real thick dark hair but it got really close and now we're coming in with the bronze series 9 just shaving the bottom out whenever you're using a shaver specifically like the bronze series 9 it is very very close and it can leave uh, lines so make sure that as you get closer to that line just start flicking out just flick the wrist you know what I'm saying flick of the wrist just start flicking the wrist so that way you don't create a line if you do just you know there's ways to take it out we could talk about that a little bit later so right now I'm using the JRL 1000s with a one and a half guard going all the way up to where we're going to create our part and what I was balding out with earlier is the JRL 1040s some people say which ones do you like best 1040s are probably the easiest to get used to and they cut so good and I mean they're they're amazing however recently I've been grabbing uh, the the thousands for whatever reason and the thousands actually have the taper blade on it instead of the fade blade so the 1040s have the fade blade the thousands I put the I just kept the taper blade on that one and uh, and I love both of them man I mean great tools to have in the arsenal I actually have one of the thousands and two of the 1040s so once again we have the one and a half guard on there JRL guard and I'm just gonna do the fade down technique so we're gonna start with that one and a half being it's already on the clipper we're gonna fade that out so now I'm just gonna drop down to a one guard just making it real simple we're starting with the one and a half in the parietal ridge area drop down just a little bit with the one guard just fade right into that many of you know I love the fade down technique it's my favorite technique you know I may start out with the bald line and shave underneath it but essentially I go right up to the top and I fade down into that bald line and uh, I've tried other ways I mean you know I watch uh, Squeak Pro Barber if you're not watching him on Instagram and you have JRLs it is a must watch I mean there's so many tips and tricks that he's showing it's just mind-blowing however uh, and I do fade like him a lot of times from the bottom to the top I like the way he does it however for me I'm just most comfortable with fading from the top down it's my favorite technique and as you can see man I mean if you just take that one and you blend right into that one and a half it starts to look real smooth so then we went to the zero JRL guard now we're just blending right into that one guard so once again it was a one and a half a one and now a zero and we'll just work you know our way around the head and then once we get done with the zero then we'll go ahead and you know drop down to uh, just an open blade and a lot of times man I mean there's times that I'll go ahead and you know do an open blade with the one or an open blade with the zero guard but for the most part I just keep it closed and I just flow right into it so now with the guard off it's an open blade and there again we're gonna keep this he wants a medium to a high skin fade so I'm trying to make it a little tighter bring it up a little bit but I try to you know go straight up with it and then you'll see I use corners a lot once I knock most of the bolt down I'll go in and use corners especially if I'm going to be doing some uh, detail work I do most all of my detail work with the corners so we just keep dropping lower and lower trying to get close to that line so we can knock it out with thicker coarse hair like his sometimes it takes a little bit to just go over different spots again and again just to make sure you knock those dark spots out so see now I'm starting to hit with some corners 
once I kind of lay the foundation with using the full blade I go in with the corners to knock, knock out any dark spots that I see and now essentially I'm just closing the blade uh, a little bit you know notch by notch so it was fully open then I might close it you know um, one notch and then halfway and, and eventually just close it all the way um, so now that I got that pretty much knocked down with the uh, taper blade I'm going back in obviously the line is not completely out at the bottom and that's okay I'm gonna come back in with uh, probably my fade blade or a pair of trimmers however now I'm just going back in with that zero guard and just kind of uh, you know trying to knock out any dark spots that I see or any lines and just try to bring this fade together once again took the guard off just working those dark spots man with the corner of the blade if you guys own any JRLs or you pick some up definitely uh, drop a comment let me know what you think about them let me know which ones your favorites the thousands or the 1040s if you bought them and you didn't like them let me know why I know a lot of people they don't like the JRLs simply because they have that lever and it took a little bit for me to get used to but now I'm so used to them that anytime I pick up a re regular pair of clippers I'm always sliding my finger my thumb up and down the body trying to change and I realize man I gotta go back to the lever so now I'm using the Babyliss Flash FX and just uh, you know knocking that line out here's a little trick man if that shaver gets too close and you feel like you have a line flip your trimmers over and just lay the blade flat against the head and just scratch at it see when you scratch at it or flick at it like that you start to knock that line out simply because when you lay the blade flat against the head the regular way you have the you know the top blade closer to the skin when you flip it over you have the moving blade closer to the skin it's not going to cut them um, you know it'll just get really close and it'll knock that line out there again just doing some, some detail work with the corner of the blade now we're moving to the back pretty much already did the one and a half and the one and the zero so we're just going to that open blade just get in there and start tying it all together with that right side as you can see I'm creating another line I'll have to go back and knock that out but I kinda dropped the back a little bit and now that I'm fading the sides I, and, uh, and he said he wanted a you know, mid to high fade I'm just gonna bring it up just a little bit so there again with the open blade I started with it open as you can see I'm just moving that notch a little closer at a time and just dropping down a little more <clears throat> so that we can knock out that bottom line and then I'll just come back in with the zero guard and knock out that dark spot <clears throat> and blend it you know from the from the open blade into the one while I'm doing that let me just say this man if this if these YouTube videos have been a blessing to you guys man please go ahead and leave a comment like subscribe if you haven't subscribed already it's a huge blessing to me and to the channel you know share feedback let's get involved in uh and you know give me some ideas for some videos or some things that you guys want to learn i'm about to really start dropping some youtube videos like hardcore i'm in a position now where i can focus on this better and uh, you know I'm passionate about it so I'm gonna drop another video after this one here in the next day or two already got it in the chamber waiting to release it as you can see I switched over to my JRL uh, 1040s with the fade blade and the reason I did that is because my other one died I think or it could have been because I wanted to show you the difference between the taper blade and the fade blade either way <clears throat> the thing with the taper blade is you're less likely to make lines it just kind of tapers better or fades better in a sense um, 
However, if you like them real sharp blades, the fade blade is the way to go. The taper blade seems to have more of a duller edge to it. But these fade blades, man, if you ain't careful, you're going to throw another line in there. But they are detailed and they are sharp. And uh, basically, I mean, I guess you've seen that I was balding out with them in the very beginning. Also, if you guys watched that last video I did on the Ren pose, man, let me know what you think about those Ren pose. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch that video on the Ren pose. Uh, the, the cordless trimmers, man, they are fire. I love them. The reason I'm using the Babless FX and these, I love them too. They're just great trimmers. Uh, here's another trick for you. Turn your... I fade a lot like this, guys. Um, if you just turn your uh, JRL around and just scratch at, you know, especially, you know, when you're trying to get that bald line out, sometimes I'll fade the whole head like this. <laughs> uh, I just, it, it almost makes it too easy, man, too easy. But here we go. We're going back to the Babless FX. But there again, I love the Babless FX. Um, I got the Zero Gap Blade on there. Some people are like, man, how'd you get them so sharp? You have to buy the blade uh, that actually comes with, is it's it's a zero gap blade that comes with the adjuster and you just adjust it how you want it. It's kind of challenging to do it, or it was for me anyways, but I finally got them zero gapped. I got two pair of them, I love them. Um, only problem with these and the reason I really, right at this point would say that the Ren Pose are probably my favorite is the Babless FX even though they are bangers man I love them they just die like in an hour they die so fast in my Ren pose they'll last me all day so Babless if you're watching I love the FX the flash FX but we need to do something about that battery yo we need to fix that thing <laughs> anyways so now I have the Babless uh, shaver that's the foil shaver and usually it comes silver, but I painted mine black, uh, like the murder look, you know, blacked out. So anyways, we're just balding it out. And the reason I like to use these uh, to come back after I've already used my uh, Bronze Series 9 is because I can blend that Bronze Series 9 gets so bald, but it does create a line for me kind of easier than, than the... Uh, the Babless Shaver so I, I'll just use that Babless Shaver to flick at that line and it just helps it. it's like a notch above the Braun Series 9 Shaver so it just kind of helps tie the bald into that where I was doing the trimmer and the closed blade alright so now we're working on the other side we do the same exact thing that we did to the side in the back you know actually you know what I kind of switching it up and sometimes I do that I'll fade down on one side and then uh, you know I might start trying to fade up on the other side once you learn your systems whether it be fading up or fading down you really don't even think about it anymore it just happens you just do whatever <clears throat> the more that you can learn the more that you can get comfortable with uh, the better off you'll be you because then you can pick up any clipper any trimmer you can you know pick up any pair of shears and you can work with anything because you've mastered the craft you've mastered your uh, techniques your systems and uh, you know it doesn't matter what pair of clippers you give give me I'm gonna be able to cut with them um, you know they recently did or last year, Matt Gifted Hands, Basio and all them, they did that Walmart Clipper Challenge and they all knocked out amazing fades. And the reason was because they already have the system down. I mean, yeah, there are some clippers that are better than others, but once you get a system down, man, somebody can give you a pair of, you know, kindergarten scissors and, and a, you know, and a comb and you can bust out a nice fade. Just learn the systems, develop the eye for the fade, and, uh, and you'll figure out a way to make it happen, trust me. I think that's the most important thing is developing the eye for a fade. 
And I think the greatest way that you can develop an eye for an amazing fade is hang out with people who, you know, cut amazing fades because they challenge you. It's such a blessing to be in a shop with so many gifted barbers because you look over and you start saying, man, I got to take my cuts to the next level. And we're always encouraging each other and challenging each other to, to grow and, and be better. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and hit this lineup. Now I broke out my uh, my Ren pose there with the wall T-Y blade on it. And, uh, and those things hit, man. So some of you guys, sometimes I skip this part, but some of you guys asked about, you know, how do I cut the top? I don't do all that parting stuff. I just start from the front and, you know, I lift the front up. And usually people want a little more length in the front and then kind of get a little lower in the back. So that's what I do because the, the top of the head is obviously higher than the front part of their head where their front edge is because it begins to round down. So just pull the front up a little bit higher and then you just go down and, and just exactly what I'm doing. You just start making parts. And now this is called cross cutting. It's simply, uh, you know, once I went all the way back with it, then I go to the side to just make sure that there's no ridges. So that way, that way when they comb it, it doesn't look like it's all gapped up. You're smoothing it out, hitting them up with the razor. If you want to get that sharp part, you got to make sure that you uh, get in there with the razor. I usually only go down uh, like I'm doing now. Some people flip the head over and they'll go back up against it. Um, once I go down with that razor, I come back in and I just hit any hairs that are hanging over that part just to clean it up a little bit more. And as you know, I always go back in and I do detail work with my shears. And uh, basically that's it. Just gonna clean it up and then I'll show you the finished product. There is the finished product. Do a little color enhancement on it as well to make it pop more. But hey guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something. Once again, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Peace. God bless you.